Okay. Now we are in question number 6 of the paper. This question we will give you 20 marks. Then 6 and question number 7 those are long essay type questions. Each question will give you 20 marks that means 20 into 20 uh, 2 questions that 40 marks will be given in section 3. We are in section 3 which will give you 40 marks right. Therefore, allocated time 72 minutes that means 1 hour and 12 minutes. Therefore, do not spare more minute or more time for this particular illustration, this particular questions, you have to stick to the time. That means each question you will receive 36 minutes to attend. Okay. Shall we read the question and see how are we going to deal with this situation or this, the deal with this particular question. Okay. Country House Private Limited, right? CPL has two strategic business units. Okay. Two strategic business units are there. They namely SBU Latex and SBU Gloves. Okay. Look at SBU latex which processes and sell centrifuged latex that mean that is rubber related product latex right. By using those latex SBU gloves which is a leading latex glove manufacturer for the export market. Okay, there are two sections if you look at about these two unit latex SBU latex they will processing this rubber in order to process uh, manufacture gloves right gloves is the final end product you can see there are two sbus one is latex other one is gloves right uh, sbu latex collects latex from rubber estates as i have said you they will collect rubber from rubber estates and then processes and sells them to the external market and also to sbu gloves that mean that means they will sell externally because they have an external market and they will sell internally as well both internal and external market is there. Then we will see SBU gloves at present procures its full requirement of latex material for its production internally from SBU latex. If you look at this situation there are some with the transfer pricing will arise the transfer pricing issue why? There are two division called SBU latex and SBU gloves. The SBU gloves purchase material required input from SBU latex. Therefore, there will be a transfer pricing. Transfer pricing arise when the internal purchase and sales. Right. We have to see how it will work. Right. We will go forward. The following information is related to the operations of the two SBUs. Okay. How we will look at their operation? Selling price per glove, SPU gloves, rupees per glove, 30 rupees, right. Variable cost, latex material from SPU latex, 13 rupees. The per glove selling price is 30, this is the transfer price, 13 rupees per glove, that is the cost they have to incur. Other raw material, 6, labor and other variable of it, 2. Altogether, if you look at about variable cost 19 plus 2, 21, then 30 minus 21, 9 is the contribution per glove. If that is relating to the gloves division. Annual fixed production over 100 million. Annual production number of gloves 50 million. They will manufacture 50 million gloves. That is the annual production of the gloves. Right? Better if you can note it down. Annual production 50 million. 50 million gloves. SBU gloves produces 50 gloves using 1 litre of centrifuge latex material. 50 gloves. That means if they receive 1 litre of latex, okay, from 1 litre of latex, they can manufacture 50 gloves. 50 gloves. Gloves. 50 gloves. Okay, that is the arrangement. Therefore, you can say if you receive latex, this 13 rupee, that is the transfer price per liter. If you purchase 1 liter of latex from latex division, the cost will be 13 into 50 gloves, 650, right? You can remember, you can calculate because per glove, the material cost is 13, 13. Then 1 litre can manufacture 50 gloves mean 
1 liter we might have been transferred 1 liter if we multiply it by 13 per glove that mean per liter cost the internal transfer price will be 650 current transfer price clear current transfer price is 650 ok we will see right ok this is the information relating the latex selling price of internal trans 650 already I have calculated it because it is available because 1 liter of latex can manufacture 50 gloves cost per gloves is 13 material cost latex cost 13 then 650 that is right variable cost 470 labor and other variable over it 50 rupees annual fixed production 50 million annual production 1.5 million 1.5 million liters they can manufacture then if you manufacture 1.5 million it said that entire requirement entire latex requirement for SBU gloves will be fulfilled by SBU latex then you have to find out because annual production 50 million gloves in order to manufacture 50 million gloves how many liters to be transferred ok I will take uh, take you through then you can realize how we are going to deal with that ok I will summarize first there are two divisions this is latex latex this is gloves there are two SBUs gloves ok their demand they need to sell demand demand equal 50 million units 50 million gloves 50 million gloves gloves right in order to me manufacture 50 gloves they require 1 liter of latex here the latex their production capacity 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 1.5 million latex liters liters 1.5 million liters that mean in order to satisfy 50 million glove how many liters to be transferred to gloves division now each one 1 liter can manufacture 50 gloves then in order to manufacture 50 million you need to transfer how many liters 1 liter can manufacture 50 gloves then in order to manufacture 50 million gloves you have to transfer 1 million liters to be transferred at current transfer price 650 this is the current transfer price 650 if you read it clearly this is the arrangement current arrangement therefore currently they can sell internally and externally if you look at about this one if you transfer 1 million internally internal internal you are sending 1 million right 1 million then external how much external 0.5 million right external you can sell 0.5 million right 0.5 million externally 0.5 million ok I will write it down externally it is 0.5 million Point five million. Okay. Right. This is the arrangement. One million internally you will sell. Externally point five million. That is the latex. That is the current arrangement. You have to look at about the what is the current arrangement. This is the current arrangement. 
okay what what we will see the balance we will look at what they are going to tell sbu latex incurs 10 rupee per liter on transport and marketing expense for all its external sales now assume when latex sell externally they have to incur additional cost of 10 rupee okay we will go back and see how are going to deal with that when you sell externally you have additional cost right when they sell externally remember they have to incur some transportation cost transportation transportation 10 rupee per unit 10 rupee per unit transportation for the external sales for the external sales but if you sell internally you will not incur any cost on that okay then we will see SBU latex has reached its full practical capacity if that means latex have 1.5 million that is their full capacity they can't go beyond that that is 1.5 million is the practical maximum capacity the manager of SBU latex is not willing to supply to SBU gloves more than the current quantity since he could supply to the external market at 700 rupees 720 per liter however SBU gloves could increase production by an additional 10 million gloves per year if the latex material is supplied by SBU latex without restriction. Now he said that the manager of his latex can sell the uh, to the external market at 720 rupees. Therefore, if he can sell 720 okay, external market in the external market he can sell at 720 then he may ask why i need to sell at 650 you need to see whether he has a sufficient external market to sell if he has a sufficient external market to sell it is useless to transact 650 got my point because he can earn 720 you can remove the transportation cost your net sale price is 710 then if you remove the variable cost you have a contribution but if you transit 650 then you are losing because you have an opportunity cost of selling internally if you sell external you can purchase at you can sell at 710 now you have to see if they are going for external market what is the maximum price they are willing to pay what is the external market they can purchase if it is lower than the net selling price then they should go for go and purchase it assume if it is 750 you can't purchase it or a purchase can't bear you can't do it why because internal transfer is much cheaper than external purchase right with having that idea we will move back to the illustration what they asked to do okay required prepare a profit statement in tabular form showing the annual profit of each SBU and CHPL as a whole. Now you need to prepare a profit statement showing current profitability of the each division and the CHPL as a whole. Shall you do that? This is the relating to the transfer pricing. Okay, seven marks being allocated. We will go back and we will calculate divisional profitability right there are two division latex other one is gloves and final company right i will take two division first one is the latex division latex the other division the division which purchase internally we are calling receiving division the division who sells the good we call supplying division the latex here it is gloves gloves division latex gloves and finally chpl that is the company chpl is the company right now you have to work out the revenue which you earn internally and which you have earned externally right first one i will take sales 
सेल्स सेल्स देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ सेल्स इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल ओके आई विल फर्स्ट टेक एक्सटर्नल एक्सटर्नल सेल्स एंड अदर वन इज द इंटरनल सेल्स इंटरनल इंटरनल सेल्स राइट फर्स्ट इफ यू लुक एट अबाउट लेटेक्स डिविशन इन द लेटेक्स डिविशन हाउ मेनी यूनिट दे विल ट्रांसफर इंटरनली इंटरनल दे विल ट्रांसफर वन मिलियन लीटर्स only 500 liters available to sell externally externally they will only available 500000 therefore this 500000 will sell at 720 720 then we will take the figures in rupees million i will take the figures in rupees million right rupees million rupees million will take the figures at rupees million latex will sell 500000 unit at 720 the value should be 360 million okay 360 million 360 million external sales because they will sell at 360 oh, sorry 720 each other side they will sell how much gloves division gloves division they will sell 50 million gloves can you remember the value in the illustration says they will sell 50 million gloves to the external market at a price of 30 rupee per glove 30 rupee into 50 million then it will be 1500 million 1.5 billion Okay, thousand five hundred million is the value. Therefore, external sales fifty million gloves into thirty thousand five hundred million. Those are external sales. Now, all together, as a company, the total sales value will be thousand eight hundred sixty million. Thousand eight hundred sixty million external sales. It is a total. Sales to the company, thousand hundred, thousand eight hundred sixty million. Now internal sales. We'll go back and see. Internal, you are selling one million liters latex, one million liters at six hundred fifty rupee per each. How many liter? One hundred fifty rupees per each. Six fifty rupees per liter. Then what would be the internal sales revenue? it is a revenue to latex it will be a cost of purchase to gloves therefore 650 million 650 million revenue to latex it is not a revenue to gloves and you will not recognize intercompany sales and purchase that is the total revenue okay now you can take if you want you can take the total revenue total sales here it is 1010 1010 million here 1500 million here 1860 million you can't add these two together the reason is internal sales you should not consider now variable cost will take variable cost variable cost cost variable cost will take one by one variable cost first one this will be a revenue to the latex but it will be a cost to the gloves division therefore internal purchase internal purchase internal purchase internal purchase this is a revenue to the division latex division it will be a cost to the 
ग्लाउस डिविशन 650 मिलियन 650 मिलियन बट आई विल नॉट रिकॉग्नाइज इट विल बी नलिफाइड इट विल बी अ प्लस फिगर टू द लेटेक्स नेगेटिव फिगर टू द ग्लाउस अल्टीमेटली इट विल सेट ऑफ राइट 650 देन मटेरियल्स विल लुक एट मटेरियल व्हाट इज द मटेरियल कॉस्ट मटेरियल कॉस्ट look at variable cost materials 474 latex 474 latex then for ekka liter ekata harasi atta yaba 470 into how many liters 1.5 million liters therefore you have to calculate what is the value okay material 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 latex division they will purchase 1 liter of material rubber at 470 1.5 million the total value should be 705 705 million material right give me a second then you have look at about the material cost for gloves gloves their material cost latex 13 we have already taken but other raw material 6 rupees per glove 6 rupees into 50 million gloves you have to calculate 300 million rupees okay other material 300 million 300 million then these been paid this material cost you have already paid to the external parties 705 plus 300 the material cost paid to 1000 1005 million material cost 1005 million right then we will look at other cost other cost 1005 million you have to recognize other material labor and other variable cost labor and other variable cost labor and other variable gloves division 2 rupee per glove labor and other variable over 50 rupee per liter 50 into 1.5 million 75 million for latex labor and overhead labor and overhead other variable overhead labor and other variable overhead 75 million 75 million 75 million gloves division labor and variable overhead 2 rupee per glove then 2 rupee into 50 million it will be 100 million another 100 million then total 175 million 175 million right then what else we will go back and see annual fixed production overhead 100 million for gloves 50 million for latex 150 million 100 million for gloves 50 million for latex okay we will write it down fixed production overhead fixed production overhead latex it is 50 million 50 million gloves it is 100 million 100 million total 150 million 150 million that is for fixed production overhead is it that are there any other expense 
Yes. Can you remember what we have done? Transport expense, if you sell externally, you have to pay 10 rupee per each unit you sell. Transportation cost. Therefore, you are selling 500, 0.5 million, 0.5 million into 10 rupee per each, you have to pay 5, sorry, 5 million rupee as a transportation cost. Okay, we will go back and work out. Transportation cost, it only apply for the latex. Transportation. Okay. Transportation. 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 5 million you have to pay, latex have to pay 5 million, but not applicable to gloves, but 5 million to the total company. Okay. Now, you can calculate this is the total revenue of each division. Now, you can calculate net profit of the each division and the company as a whole. Net profit. We will write down net profit. Net profit. Net profit of this division 1010 million is the revenue, these are the cost. If you deduct, if you calculate it, you will earn the latex division will earn 175 million. Take the total 175 million. This is gloves division 1500 minus 950, 1050, 1, that means 350 million. 350 million. If we take the total of the company, you can either add both divisional profit or total 1860 minus 1575, 150 and 5. Answer should be 525 million. Okay. 525 million. This is the current profit that you will earn, right. This is the current profit that you will earn, 525 million, right. I think it is very much clear, it is pretty much clear the total computation. This is the answer for part A of question number 6, part A of question number 6. We are in question number 6, this is part A. Okay, part A. You have earned 7 marks, right. You have just earned 7 marks. I think it is very much clear. Okay, we will move back to the illustration and see what is the next requirement. The management of CHPL decides to formulate an overall purchasing policy so that the company as a whole could maximize its profits. Okay. Their transfer price should ensure that at the end of the day, overall company profitability will be maximized. Right. Further, the SBU Gloves was advised to purchase latex material even from the external market if the overall profit of CHPL is optimized. Then you have to say what is the optimum transfer pricing range. Right. Advise the management of CHPL on the maximum price at which. SBU gloves should purchase latex material from the external market and how SBU latex should plan its external and internal sales accordingly. Now you have to give an opinion, okay. What is the opinion you have to tell? When you are going to determine the price, right, determine the, um, if I say about internal transfer optimum maximum and minimum transfer price. You have to think about few consideration. Then I will draw you a diagram and summarize what this CHPL you had have, have, has to be undertaken or they have to implement. Okay, we will go back and see. Okay, now these are the present arrangement. I will move to the suggested arrangement 
assume this is latex division ok latex right. latex and other one is gloves. Latex, this is gloves, gloves. Now, if the latex division they can externally sell externally, they can sell externally, externally, they can sell at 720. If you go into the external market, you can sell at 720, 720 per unit. But when you are going to sell 720, this is the selling price, I will say SP, selling price. But if you are going to sell externally, you have to incur some sale cost or transportation cost that is 10 rupee. Okay, you have to take the net selling price, no? You have to deduct transportation, transportation, 10 rupee. If you take the net selling price is 710, 710 you can collect from external sales. Now, your production capacity, capacity 1.5 million liters, 1.5 million liters. If you have a perfect demand externally, definitely you should minimum receive 710 external demand. If external demand exceed because your selling price, net selling price 710, after removing transportation cost. If you look at about their variable cost, how much they are currently earning? Their variable cost material 470, labor and other variable of weight 520, the variable cost, variable production cost per unit 520. If you go back and see, I will say, material 470 per unit, labor and variable overhead 50, then their variable cost per unit 520. If they have a perfect demand, currently their contribution per unit, CPU contribution per unit 710 minus 520 that is 190 they are contribution per unit got my point therefore if they have a perfect market this is a condition if condition if they can sell entire 1.5 million they should sell they can get 190 minimum contribution then when you going to transfer internally, if you are going to sell internally, sell internally, then you have to look at whether if you going to transfer internally at 710, whether gloves division can purchase from external market, whether they can purchase externally. If they can purchase externally at the price below than 710, then they should go and purchase, right. If they have to pay more than 710, okay, with the condition, if condition, okay, if I say, if their price, external supplier price, external price, price 
per latex. Assume there are two prices. More than, more than seven hundred and ten per liter. More than seven hundred ten per liter, or it can be less than less than seven hundred and ten per liter. If it is more than 710 for the external purchase, what you have to do? They have to, because now you want to maximize the overall company return. In, if you purchase internal, you can purchase at 710, that is the market price with assuming that perfect market exists. If perfect market exists, if the price is more than 710, what you have to do? You have to purchase internally purchase internally purchase internally internally at 710 right if it is less than 710 per liter what you have to do in order to maximize overall company profit purchase externally latex division should sell externally not trans internally Latex, latex should sell externally, externally and, and, externally and gloves, gloves division should purchase, should purchase purchase externally externally right when you are going to make this decision when you are going to make this decision what you have to consider whether whether latex division have a perfect market or not you have to think whether this latex division latex division has a full capacity or perfect demand. If the perfect demand exists, if perfect, perfect demand exists, if perfect demand exists for latex division, what you have to do? You have to transfer at 710 minimum. 710 is the minimum. Right. If they can purchase less than 710, if gloves division can purchase less than 10, this is what they have to do. They have to purchase. Okay. If they can purchase less than 710, they can purchase externally. If the price of latex per liter cost per liter is greater than 710, you have to purchase 710 from internally because it is cheap. Clear? This is the decision you have to make when it comes to the profit maximization of both division, right? Okay, suggested solution, I will show you the suggested solution as well. You can see in the suggested solution also mentioned it. The net price of selling latex externally market is 710 per liter. If SBU gloves can buy latex from the external market for less than 710 per liter, what you have to do? You have to purchase from external market. What I, I have already included here. This is the summary. This is the answer for part B. This is the answer for part B. Part B of the question. This is the answer for part B. That is done. Now we will see part C of the illustration. 
part C of the illustration. Okay. The management of CHPL has decided to apply dual rate transfer pricing method. What is the dual rate transfer pricing? The supplying division will record whatever the price they want as your market price. The receiving division they want the lowest price. They will record them at a lower price, right? That means marginal cost or something else. Okay. The management of CHPL has decided to apply the dual rate transfer pricing method for all internal transfers in the future. All internal transfers. Accordingly, it was decided to effect transfers from SPU latex at the minimum transfer price and record such transfers in SPU gloves at the variable cost. Ah. The minimum transfer price, if you go and see, minimum transfer price is 710. They will record at 710. But in the gloves division, they will record at variable cost, that is 520. Got my point? When this comes to an effect, if the dual rate transfer pricing applies, right, dual rate transfer pricing apply. Latex division they will record at 710 as a sales. Gloves division they will record the same transaction at 520 as purchase cost. That is the dual rate transfer pricing. Right. Further, the manager of, S, uh, of SBU latex is advised to supply the full latex requirement of SBU gloves in order to meet the additional production requirement full demand you have to satisfy right okay now you are going to supply full demand okay first one explain the dual rate transfer pricing policy you have to explain the dual rate transfer pricing policy for this particular scenario right explain the dual rate transfer pricing policy together with one benefit and one drawback of it one benefit, first one, suboptimal decision can be eliminated because each manager will try to maximize their profitability. But on the other hand, if we apply dual rate transfer pricing, both managers will be satisfied because selling division, the supplying division will record their market price, receiving division will record at the marginal cost. Then both division manager because Manage of supplying division, they want a higher revenue to earn profit. Receiving division, they are trying to purchase at lower price. Then both objectives being satisfied. Okay, I will explain in a diagram, then you will easily understood it. Okay, I will take another one. Now this, this is latex, latex. We call it is a supplying division supplying division division according to this example supplying division who sells the goods the other division is gloves gloves supplying division latex division sells the goods to gloves this is we call receiving division receiving division receiving division Therefore, their objective, the objective of supplying division is to maximize revenue, maximize revenue, revenue. Re this is the receiving division, their objective was minimizing the cost, minimizing the cost, minimizing cost minimizing cost right therefore they will record the their price at market price market price they will record their purchases at purchases at variable cost this is the dual rate transfer pricing arrangement both divisional managers objectives being satisfied right objectives being satisfied right we will see that is the one benefit 
the drawback okay suggested solution says the simple meaning of dual rate transfer pricing is that there are two rates applied internal transfers because supply and division record one particular price receiving division will record in another price the recipient account are charged with the lesser price and the transfers account are credited with the higher price so that both parties are motivated that is very important both parties are motivated these two prices ideally lie on the between the minimum and maximum transfer price okay minimum and maximum the benefit of this method is both parties are motivated however the disadvantage is that the account should be separately adjusted for price differences because selling division will record that market price receiving division will record at a lower amount because one division it will be a sale other division same amount should be the cost of sales no but they will record at the marginal cost variable cost then there is a difference it should be adjusted separately and if there are multiple products you are selling in between then it will be very confusing and it will be very complicated other disadvantage all the time it has to be informed to the head office those are the drawbacks right <coughs> prepare a revised profit statement showing the annual profit of each sbu and chpl as a whole under the dual rate transfer pricing method now you are going to apply dual rate transfer pricing when you are going to apply dual rate transfer pricing what you have to do the supply and division will record at variable uh, sorry mar uh, market price receiving division will record at their price at at which price receiving division marginal cost right now at the present arrangement they are supplying out of this 1.5 million 1 million to gloves 500000 to uh, external market we'll see their demand demand here it's mentioned that okay sure the manager of sbu latex is not willing to supply sbu gloves more than the current quantity since he could supply to the external market at 720 per liter that is the gross price however sbu gloves could increase the production by an additional 10 million you can increase the cap, uh, production by additional 10 million not only 50 10 million altogether total production will be 60 million gloves 60 million gloves right then gloves per year if the latex material is supplied by sbu latex without any restriction ah. in order to manufacture 60 million gloves okay in order to manufacture 60 million gloves how many liters to be transferred one liter can manufacture 50 gloves therefore in order to manufacture 60 million gloves 50 plus 10 60 million each liter will manufacture 50 gloves then approximately you require 1.2 million liters simply it is 1.2 million then out of this 1.5 million i will summarize then you can draw that that 1.2 million you will sell internally and balance 0.3 million externally this is internal this is external external right this is the arrangement because they can increase the output by additional 10 million 50 million can go up to 60 million in order to manufacture 60 million glasses each liter can manufacture 50 then 1.2 million should be transferred internally right now we will go back and see can you remember previous calculation this is the previous calculation now you are selling internally what is the transfer price internal now we are going to sell at 720 minus transport saving of transportation cost 710 got my point okay i will draw the diagram and then you can easily understand right okay this is 
लेटेक्स लेटेक्स दिस इज क्लाउस नाउ लेटेक्स विल सेल थाउजेंड टू सॉरी वन पॉइंट टू मिलियन लीटर्स द प्राइस विल बी एक्सटर्नली दे विल सेल पॉइंट थ्री मिलियन लीटर्स एट सेवन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी but they have to incur 10 rupee as a 10 rupee as a transport cost but here you have to not need to incur for internal transfer therefore they will record them at externally you will sell at 720 internal you will record at 720 minus 10 710 in the gloves division they will record at a variable production cost what is the variable production cost of latex 470 plus 50 520 they will record their purchases purchases at 520 there is a difference 710 and 520 that should be adjusted to the final figure right okay with having that idea we will work out the total profitability okay first one i will take latex latex then gloves and chpl chpl sales sales external and internal internal sales in external and internal external sales now can you remember external sales you are selling 0.3 million at 720 0.3 million and 720 that is 216 million external sales 216 million now gloves division they can sell 60 million gloves okay because they can sell 60 million gloves 1000 1.2 million input they can sell capacity sell 60 million gloves 60 million gloves each at 30 rupee that mean 13 to 60 million mean 1800 million okay 1800 million 1800 million total 2016 million 2016 million is the external sales 2016 million internal sales now internal sales will be 1.2 million liters to gloves division at a price of 710 okay 710 into 710 into 1.2 million it will be 852 million 852 million but i won't recognize it here 852 million now take the total revenue total revenue here it will be 1068 1068 million here 1800 million total revenue 2016 million then variable cost now here internal transfer recorded at 852 but remember gloves division will only recognize at marginal cost internal transfer internal transfer internal transfer 1.2 million liters at which price 1.2 million purchase price is 520 this is the amount you are going to recognize 
this is the price they will record at their books. 1.2 million at 520, 624 million. They will recognize 624 million. Now remember there is a difference. 852 make a sales now make a purchase when only. Here it is 852 now it is 624. Okay, right. Then there is a difference, but here I am not going to recognize it. That difference we will adjust at the end. I will adjust at the end. Then material cost, okay, material cost, other material cost. It will not change same as earlier because other material, material, because only change happen for the internal transfers. You can see other material cost and all here. Material cost 705 for latex, 304 gloves, 1005. They will remain change. Labor no weight 75, 100 and 175. Fixed production no weight 50 and 100 and 150. Transportation cost will change based on the number of units so you sell in external market. Therefore, I will copy the same information. Material here it is 705. 705 million. Gloves it is 300 million. Total 1005 million. 1005 million. Material. Then labor and overhead. Variable overhead. Labor and variable overhead. Second, this will be sorry. This should be 360 million, right? 360 million. This amount should be changed then. Seven hundred five plus three hundred sixty. Thousand sixty five million. Thousand sixty five. Thousand sixty five million. Labor and overhead seventy five million and seventy five million for SBU latex seventy five million full production seventy five million. Gloves two rupee per unit. Earlier we have manufactured fifty million unit. Now you are manufacturing sixty million. Then this should be hundred twenty million. Labor and overhead hundred twenty million. Then 195 million, 195 million. Then fixed production overhead, it won't change. 50 million, here it is 100 million. Total 150 million. Hundred fifty million. Right. Then transportation. Transportation. Transportation ten rupee per external sales. You are selling three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand into ten, three million. Right. Here it is three million. Not this is three million. Now you can take total profitability. Total profit before adjustment. You have to make an adjustment separately because you the profit need to be adjusted because there is a difference in profit computation. It has to be recorded, it has to be adjusted. Right it has to be adjusted. If you calculate
the total profit of this division thousand sixty eight minus this value you will get total value thousand sixty eight minus seven hundred and five minus seventy five minus fifty three two hundred and thirty five million two hundred and thirty five million two hundred and thirty five million if you calculate other division the value should be value should be how much thousand eight hundred minus six hundred and twenty four minus three hundred and sixty minus two hundred twenty five hundred ninety six five hundred ninety six million remember whatever the internal transfers we have not considered because it has to be adjusted if you take the total and it should be adjusted for the profit difference but i have not considered here the total column therefore your company profit will be 603 million 603 million 603 million the reason is here you recognize 852 when it come to the here we recognize nice in in here it is 624 that difference should be deducted from here how much 852 minus 624 that mean you have deduct 228 million 228 million then you will receive 603 million at the actual net profit your profitability has been improved that is the answer for answer for part c2 okay final answer this is c2 question number 6 part c section 2 20 marks question that's done that is done question number 6 now we will move to question number 7 this is the last question of the paper this is relating to project appraisal long term decision making in the long term decision making this is you have to calculate we will see what you have to do based on the given information it says that we will first look at what they are asked to calculate calculate the net present value of this project and assess whether the project should be undertaken okay net present value mean you have to calculate present value of future receipts and present value of future payment net receipts and net payment present value of payment and receipt if the present npv is positive based on here there's no benchmark given if it is positive it is worthwhile to accept the project okay we'll see based on the given information whether it is worthwhile to accept this project right sunshine development plc sorry private limited is a property development company it is planning to start a new housing project okay now they are going to start a new housing project multi unit building this building will have lifetime of 20 years and the residential unit will be sold to tenants who could freely use them during this lifetime you are going to sell this project for 20 years time right okay the building will include 10 floors that have two residential units per floor 10 floor two residential unit that means 20 residential units right there will be 20 residential units you can recognize right okay construction work the initial investment for the project is 40 million initial investment that means immediately that means year zero this is a year zero cash flow therefore you have to look at the project cash flows year zero cash flow you have to put this as a 40 million as an outflow this is to obtain a land on a long term lease born on a government land development program that means you have to immediately pay without a land how to construct a building therefore in order to start the construction project immediately you have to pay 40 million that 40 million 
you have to recognize as a cash outflow at year 0, right. That adjustment done, this is done. There will be an immediate investment of rupees 8 million in working capital and this will be fully recovered at the end of construction. Again immediate cash flow, working capital. In fusion, it will be an immediate outflow, year 0 cash outflow. Now there are two cash outflows you have to recognize in year 0, year 0. The 40 million is year 0 cash outflow. Then this 8 million is a working capital, again it is year 0, year 0, you have to pay 8 million. And this will be fully recovered at the end of the construction. We will look at what is the construction period. This working capital amount increase yearly by the inflation rate. With the inflation, you have to adjust it for the inflation. Okay. As per the bill of quantities, the total estimated construction cost is 240 million, which is spread evenly over the construction period of 3 years. However, due to inflation, this cost will change year on year. Uh, 240 million is the cost, right? 240 million, I will explain. Give me a second. The construction cost will be 240 million. 240 million, this will be evenly distributed. That means, year 1, year 2, year 3, then evenly distributed, Samano Vidilena, evenly distributed throughout the 3 year period. That means 80 million in each year, 80 million, 80 million, these are outflows, but this is without adjusting the inflation. You have to adjust the inflation here, you have to adjust the inflation. Once you have adjusted the inflation, you have to get the inflation adjusted cash outflows. We will see what is the inflation, right? Even period 3 years, however due to inflation, this cost will change year on year. Therefore, you have to adjust the inflation and see the value, right? Then it says, SDL conducts extensive marketing campaigns to sell its residential units. The marketing cost already spent from the company's common advertisement program is 1 million and the expected additional marketing campaign cost is 1.5 million which is to be incurred in year 1. Ah, this is a problem. You have already expensed 1 million rupee right 1 million rupee as a marketing cost okay marketing campaign and another 1.5 million you have to be incurred okay then project before starting the project you have already spent 1 million is it relevant cost remember this 1 million right this 1 million you have already spent it is not a part of your cost. This is 1 million. Because this particular cost, remember this amount is a sunk cost. Sunk cost. Not relevant. But you have to incur 1.5 million. That should be year 1. It is an outflow in year 1. That is accurate. That you can accept. But the amount you have already spent, you can't recognize, right? Initial investment in fixed asset will be 4 million. These fixed asset will be disposed at the end of the year construction period for rupees 1.5 million. Therefore, immediately, this is 4 million is the immediate cash flow. Year 0, year 0, there will be an outflow of 4 million, right? Construction period is 3 years. At year 3, there will be a residual amount that is 1.5 million. You can collect 1.5 million at the third year end. 
the capit the straight line basis capital allowances rate is 25 percent per annum for the fixed assets. You can claim capital allowances 25 percent on a straight line basis right for the fixed assets right. When we when you are going to calculate the taxation you have to remove that ok you have to deduct it ok we will see. Then sale of residential units, the agreement with the tenants state that they could freely use the residential unit for 20 years period and one residential unit is priced at a lump sum of rupees 17 million in year 1, okay, one residential unit 17 million. It is expected that 40 percent of residential unit will be sold on year 1, 50 percent in year 2 and rest at the completion. In spite of inflation, the company has decided that there will not be a price change in year 2, but the prices of residential unit will be increased by 4 percent in year 3. Now, you have look at the revenue. Okay, I will show you how to calculate the revenue. I will come back to this point later. Revenue per residential unit year 1, year 1, price is 17 million into they will sell 40 percent of residential unit, 10 floors, 2 residential unit that means 20. Out of this 20 residential unit, you will sell 40 percent. 40 percent, 40 percent that mean you will be able to sell how much in the first year 18 to 17 million 136 million you can earn a revenue in first year this is the revenue, revenue in first year. Second year you will sell 50 percent but remember price will not change, price will not change. Year 2, price is 17 million, it will be 17 million, we will go back and see. Here it is mentioned that price will be 17 million and the price will not be changed in year 2, price will not be changed. Okay, if the price is not changed, your price should be 17 million, price should be 17 million, okay. 17 million, right. Out of this 20 residential unit, 20 residential unit, you will use 50 percent. 50 percent that means 10 residential unit. If it is 10 residential unit, the value should be 170 million, 170 million. The second year value is 170 million, third year the balance 50 percent you have already sold 40 percent in second year, third year that is the year of completion balance 10 percent. Now, but third year third year the price will change. The third year the price will increase by it says that 4 percent the price will go up. If it is increased by 4 percent it says that third year it will prices will be increased by 4 percent. Then 17 million if it go up by 17 million increased by 4 percent it is 17.68 million. Twenty to ten percent. That means two residential unit will be there. Two. Then it will be thirty-five point three six million. Thirty-five 
35.36 million. 35.36 million is the third year. That is how the revenue will looks like. That is how the revenue will distributed over the period. Right. Okay. Then what else? That is the revenue. We will go back and see the balance consideration. Up to this point, we have done. General account is recognized the prices paid at the time of reservation of the residential unit as advance income. The revenue is recognized over the construction period based on the stage of completion. It is expected that the construction performance would be distributed evenly throughout the construction period. Now, first period the total revenue. Now, we, even though the revenue received like this for the accounting purpose, the revenue will be recognized evenly distributed over the period. right? Therefore, you will recognize based on the stage of completion. If it is being completed, if it, will be, it will be recognized over the period, if it is being completed over the period. right? General account recognize the price paid at the time of reservation of the residential unit as advance income. The revenue is recognized over the construction period based on the stage of completion. It is expected that the construction performance would be distributed evenly throughout the construction period. Therefore, you have to take the total revenue. Okay. Total revenue, it should be evenly distributed, one third should be evenly distributed throughout the period. Instead of it, re you have received it, you have to distribute it over the period. Okay, as an example, 40 percent completed in year 1, then total value will be uh, 17 million into 20 residential unit 340 divided by 3 thirds 113.33 million. According to the recognition rule, year 1 you will recognize 17 million into 20 residential unit complete complete how much what is the percentage it has been completed 40 percent it has been completed right not 40 percent one third equally it is said that evenly distributed the period therefore one third the value will be 113 million 333, 113.33 million. The second year also, why this is year 1, year 2, again 17 million into 20 into one third, one third, again 113.33 million, 113.33 million year 3, year 3, it is not 17 million, right. Now, you have already recognized, if you take the total, take the total of this value, 136 plus 170 million plus 35.36 million, all together 341.36 million. Then here total value is 226.66 million. Balance is 114.7 million is the amount you have recognized in year 3. Then total revenue, total revenue, because 4 percent increment is there total revenue will be same as what you have recognized in here 341.36 341.36 million right this is how the revenue will be recognized throughout the construction period in accounting terms for the tax computation this is how it will be recognized 
but cash received this way. This is the cash basis. Cash basis. Cash basis. Therefore, cash recorded this way, but when you are going to calculate the taxation, this is how it will be recognized in the tax computation. Right, that is done. Construction period. Okay. Post commissioning, the residential unit will be available for free use for year 4, from year 4. Per the agreement, SDL will this residential unit until the expiration of their lifetime. The expected yearly maintenance fee to be charged from each residential owner is 200,000 and will need to spend 3 million per annum on maintenance cost. Right. Then the remaining 20 years period, once you have completed year 1, 2, year 3, fourth year onwards, till 20 years time, then all to the 24 years, you will charge 20 per residential unit. Then 20 per sorry 20 per residential unit mean what is the value? 20 residential units you will charge 200,000. That is 4 million. 4 million you will charge and you have to spend mil 3 million as a maintenance cost. 3 million. Therefore, net maintenance revenue will be 1 million. You will receive from 4th year onwards till 20 years, 4th to 24th year, 24th because this residential unit will be given for a 20 years period, right. That is post commissioning. Other information, at the end of 20th year period, STVL will return the land to the government. Neither tenants nor SDL can claim any retirement value for the improvements. Right. The corporate tax rate is 20% per annum payable one year in arrears. 20% is the tax rate. It has to be paid one year in arrears. The real interest rate is 12.5 and general inflation rate is 4% per annum. Now, you have to apply the inflation because general inflation run at 4% per annum then all the figures will be subject to the inflation, right. Unless especially all figures are in nominal term, all figures are in nominal terms. The post commissioning value is given in nominal terms. Then you have to convert the values given in real terms. These are real terms. These revenues are real terms. You have to cons calculate not only this one, sorry, this one, you have to calculate the nominal value. Nominal value, in order to calculate nominal value, you have to multiply general inflation rate is 4 percent, 1.04. This should be multiplied 1.04 power 2. Here 1.04 power 3. You have to calculate them and get the value. The values will be how much? Here it is 80, 83.2 million, 83.2 million. Here it is 86.52, 528. Here it is 89. Point 999. Nine, nine. Right. That is the inflation adjusted value. Okay. Go back and see. Calculate the present value. I will show you the suggested solution. Then you can realize how it has been done. We have already written down. Now you need to present the answer. This is how cost of construction. cost of construction after adjusting inflation 83.2 million, 86.528, 89.989 million because we have already done the calculation here. Remember these are the values we have calculated. Okay, we will go back. 
as I have mentioned marketing campaign 1.5 million it is an outflow you have to mention it is an outflow then total cost is given this 3 million maintenance cost 3 million right the maintenance cost you have to incur 3 million maintenance revenue you will receive 4 million in each year 4 million year 5 to going forward then purchase of land 40 million investment in fixed asset 4 million and you will recover 1.5 million at the end of construction period working capital investment it will increase by 4% 800,000 into 4% 320 332 and you will collect at the end of the construction working capital these are the total cash flow this is year 5 to year 23 the terminal value being calculated not the terminal value annuity value because you have to incur maintenance cost of 3 million you will get 400,000 as a revenue and 1 million is the net revenue as I have computed earlier then you have to pay tax on 20 percent tax on that 800,000 is the net profit over the PM as a maintenance cost because other revenue you won't get any other revenue over the period you will get the revenue like that then if I go back to the illustration it says your real interest rate is 12.5 and inflation rate is 4 percent you have to calculate the nominal interest rate because nominal cash flow should be discounted by using nominal discount rate therefore I will go back and calculate go back and calculate if you can say 1 plus nominal rate I will say NR equal to 1 plus real rate for your memory 1 plus inflation rate okay nominal rate you have to find a 1 plus nominal rate 1 plus real rate real rate is 12.1 plus 12.5 percent into inflation rate 1 plus 4 percent right 1 plus NR equal to 1 1.125 1.125 1 to 5 into 1.0 4 then you can calculate nominal rate 1.04 into 1.125 exactly it is nominal rate 17 percent nominal rate 17 percent you have to discount all the cash flows by using nominal rate of 17 percent right nominal rate we have calculated we will go back to the suggested solution I have computed this one it is very easy if you want to calculate how to get the present value your discount factor is 17 percent 1.17 power minus 70 uh, sorry 23 1 minus answer divide by 0.17 is 5.72 minus the discount factor of first three for the first four years then 5.572 minus the discount factor then you will get the uh, year 5 to year 23 discount factor annuity factor right then this is the way of computing tax sale of housing unit 113 113 and 114.693 that's how it will work I have shown you the computation this is how the revenue this is way we have based on the accounting principle we have recognized it according to the stage of completion this is how it will work this is how we will take into the tax computation we have taken like that 
then maintenance revenue it is a revenue in year 4 to year 23 cost of sales you have already construction cost already you have taken and 3 million is the maintenance cost then 1 million is the revenue then tax will be 200,000 the capital allowances you have claimed 2.5 million over the period three year period because 1.5 million you will collect this is the taxable profit this is the taxation this is how nominal inflation rate you will calculate 17 percent therefore based on the NPV computation you will get 22,643,670 then it is the then you can say this is financially feasible to accept why NPV is positive when the NPV is positive it is financially worthwhile to accept the project therefore it is you can say you can recommend the project you can accept this one why it will give you a benefit over the period it will give a net present value of 22 million over the project 22 million is the net profit over the period right okay then we will look at what is the next requirement next requirement we have calculate the NPV that is done that is done the next part B the NPV method is often used for the investment appraisal decision as the results of it leads to making decision that would maximize investors well explain the about statement why it will it will maximize the shareholders return because it will consider the time value of money okay therefore it will discount the time value of money because when you are taking a risk when you delay your consumption it will include some return of the delayed consumption it will include some return for the your invested capital it will give you some return on the risk you are taking therefore NPV method is suitable or it will more focus on value maximizing the shareholders value it will consider present value of future receipts and payment ultimately it will maximum because it will consider the time value of money therefore we will look at the suggested solution it is what it says the wealth of the investor is based on the maximization of present value of the investment they hold the NPV method look at the present value of net receipt right cash flow that are discounted using investors cost of capital indicate the perceived positive or negative impact on the current wealth of the investor if the NPV is positive the investment is accepted that mean if the investment is positive mean NPV positive mean investors wealth will be improved it will go up the NPV method considers the present value for all cash flows and the risk of these cash flows Hence, it provides the absolute amount of the investor's wealth creation, absolute amount. Your wealth has been increased by how much? Absolute amount, not a comparative amount. You know how much your wealth will be improved. Based on this illustration, the shareholder's wealth will be increased by 22.64 million. You know the value, right? That is the most important thing. Okay, we will look at part C. SDL has received a few proposals from outside investor to build a few infrastructure projects. These projects will be co-founded by SDL for the which it can invest only rupees 5 million. You can't invest more. The details are relevant for SDL's portion of proposed project as follows. There are three projects. Okay. Shopping complex investment 3.5 million present value. 5 million gymnasium 2 million is the investment it will give 3 million theater it is 3 million it will give 4.4 million right 
all of the above project are divisible and have an equal lifetime. SDL management has decided to accept project with the highest NPV. Is it correct? We will see. Advise SDS management on their decision by comparing the financial implication arising out of the criterion used with the financial implication that would have been resulted by the application of any better criterion. Now, if you go with the highest NPV value, you will select 5 million, then you will invest 3.5. The next one, theater, it will give 4.5 million, but you will only have the 5 million rupee. You can't invest entire amount. How much you can invest? Balance 1.5 mean you can invest balance 50 percent you will invest then you will entitle 50 percent. That is your current criteria. Okay. With your current criteria you will select this one the first priority. This will be the second priority based on the current situation. Right? Then you have only 5 million rupee full, this is 100 percent you will invest, then 3.5 million. Balance 1.5 million, balance amount 50 percent will be invested here, 50 percent. Then you have invested 50 million, 5 million, now you can see you what is your total NPV. Entire 5 million you will receive NPV, 5 million. Out of this 4.4 million, you only entitled for 50 percent, 50 percent, then it is 2.2 million. With the current trend, you can earn only 7.2 million, 7.2 million, right. Based on this situation, you can only invest, you can only earn 7.2 million, right. Now, see whether any alternative in investment, because this initial investment are different and present value of inflows are different. Sorry, these are inflows. Then you have to calculate the NPV. Sorry, here it is, they, they have not calculated the NPV. We will calculate the NPV. If they calculate the NPV, here the NPV 3.5 present value of cash inflows 5 million it is 1.5 million, 1.5 million. Here it will give 1 million, here it is 1.4 million. As I have said, they will invest 100 percent A, out of this theatre they will invest 50 percent in theatre. Now you can say total here 1.5 million plus million plus 50 percent of it because here it is 50 percent then 0.7 million total NPV they can earn 2.2 million 2.2 in the present condition this is the present condition when you are going to make a decision when the investment are different if the capital rationing there you have to calculate the profitability index. You can recommend. Okay, I will calculate the profitability index of each situation. Okay, we will go back and we will calculate and show it to you. When you are going to calculate profitability index, there are three projects A, B, and C. Cash inflow cash inflow, cash inflow, cash inflows being given, cash inflows, shopping complex 5 million, gymnasium 3 million, theatre 4.4 million. Those are the cash inflows of the project, cash inflows of the project. Now, look at the cash outflow, investment is given separately, cash outflows given separately. 
cash outflows investment shopping complex 3.5 million b gymnasium 2 million c theater 3 million now take the npv npv here it is 1.5 million here it is 1 million here it is 1.4 million 1.4 million now when you are going to make a decision you have to calculate profitability index okay you have to calculate the profitability index if you make the ranking based on npv you will give the rank to a1 c number 2 b number 3 that is based on profit uh, based on npv ranking if you calculate okay we will write down based on npv ranking based on npv shall we calculate the profitability index pi profitability index npv plus initial investment divided by initial investment then you can calculate the pay profitability index 1.5 plus 3.5 altogether 5 5 divided by 3.5 then you can calculate the profitability index i will work out here profitability index npv 1.5 million plus initial investment 3.5 million divide by initial investment 3.5 million either otherwise you can say divide 1.5 divide by 3.5 kilakata okay now the ratio what is the ratio 5 divide by 3.5 it will be 1.43 1.43 right b if you calculate to uh, 3 divide by 2 it is 1.5 then 4.4 4 divide by 3 it is 1.47 1.47 right 1.47 now we will look at the ranking ranking rank based on npv if we based on npv we will give the rank to here 1 2 3 that is the ranking if we based on profitability index rank based on profitability index which one you will give the ranking you will give rank here 1.5 times here number one here number two here number three now based this is the current method current this is the current method we will call this as a proposed proposed method based on current method now we have 5 million now we are going to allocate 3.5 to a 1.5 million to c okay now we will calculate based on current method current total total funds available available 5 million first allocation first goes to which one first goes to project a based on npv the present method 
first goes to project A, 3.5 million, balance 1.5 million available, balance, balance. Out of the second rank goes to, second rank goes to C, total requirement 3, but only available 1.5 million. Therefore, 1.5 million available out of 3 million, that means 50 percent you will allocate to C. 50 percent you will allocate to C, right? 50 percent you will allocate to C, then 1.5 million you will use. That is how you have used the 5 million based on the present allocation method. Now, calculate what is the NPV you will learn? What is the NPV? NPV A 100 percent NPV is how much? If you go back and see NPV 1.5 million, therefore 1.5 million into 100 percent that is 1.5 5 million. C, C is the second rank 1.4 million, 1.4 million is the NPV into 50 percent you will invest therefore, you will enter it for 50 percent of the NPV divisible project is divisible 0.7 million. The total NPV, 2.2 million is the total NPV based on the present method. The total NPV, the total NPV, total NPV will be 2.2 million based on the present method, 2.2 million. But if you apply profitability index, it will recommend like this. First rank goes to B, second rank goes to C. If resources are available allocate to A. Okay. Now, we will calculate based on profitability index based on, on profitability index funds available, available maximum available funds 5 million right maximum available funds 5 million. First rank goes to whom? First rank goes to B, you have to invest 2 million. Invest 2 million first. B, 100 percent. 100 percent, you have to invest 2 million. Balance 3 million balance 3 million, balance 3 million. Then second rank goes to whom? Second based on profitability index, second, second rank goes to C, total requirement 3 million. Therefore, entire 3 million you can invest for second, for C you can invest 100 percent, entire 3 million, 3 million then total funds being utilized. Now, both B and C you have 100 percent invested, then what is the NPV then? NPV, NPV we will write it down, B it will give NPV of how much? 1 million into 100 percent you have undertake the project, then you will get 1 million. Then project C, what is the NPV? Project C, your NPV is 1.4 million, 1.4 million. Project C also you can invest 100 percent, 1.4 million. Your total NPV, 
2.4 million total in PV. Total in PV 2.4 million. This is based on profitability index. Look at based on present method you will get 2.2, but if you apply profitability index you will get 2.4 million. Then what can you suggest? You have to make the decision based on profitability index rather than the present method highest NPV because it is not kept in any weight on the relative size of the investment. The relative size of the investment being considered at the profitability index. In the profitability index give a higher weight. Now here if you invest 1 rupee you will get 1, 1 rupee and 43 cents. Here project B if you invest 1 rupee you will get 1 rupee and 50 cents right. Therefore relative size of the oh, absolute value of the NPV does not matter you have look at their relative value with regard to the investment. The size of the investment will be considered in profitability index. When the initial investment is different you should not make the decision based on the total NPV. You have to make the decision based on profitability index. Based on profitability index this is the suitable option project B and C fully undertaken with the available 5 million. That is the answer for part C and that is the end of the paper as well. Therefore, now we have just completed the entire paper 2021 December we have completed all the section. Now you can go and see again and do again these question and then it will be helpful to your final examination right. Therefore, you have to go from beginning to end there are three section 10 MCQ 20 marks four question which give 10 marks each 40 marks the third section two question each will give 20 marks 40 marks right. Therefore, wish you all the best for your final examination and this will be a good revision for you and you can practice more and more questions and see whether you have tackled the question and whether you will be able to manage the question within the stipulated time ok. Thank you for we will meet again from another session another revision session in future till that stay safe and do your best in your future exam. Thank you.